Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, pretty much. He's, and that's a uh, conditioning 101, guys. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> conditioning 101. You just, you just have to walk through the moments before disaster, and that is all part of the plan. But now we get to see Tilde get his run back with Zamba from their set earlier in winter semis. Zamba, though, like, I, from what we saw against Syrup and what you all saw, uh, uh, well, what we all saw, I wasn't on uh, commentary yet, the. Uh, the winner semi set with Zamba looking very very strong against Tilde. You know this is this is a powered up Zamba, but this is Ooh. a fired up Tilde. After hey, he's all warm. He's all yeah. warm and ready after two back to back three O's against Numbers and Syrup. He's ready to punish. Yeah, and and you know and speaking of ready to punish, Zamba uh, dealt him ready to punish. He's been catching people with down airs all night. Uh, great edge guard sequence, not and not panicking too, not panicking and maybe trying to do uh, like a low punish. Kept it simple with the down air ledge. Oh, he didn't chase there. He kind of acknowledged that. Yeah, you still have your double jump. I'm gonna play it safe and I'm not gonna try and uh, overextend into this potential uh, platform uh, platform situation. Mm -hmm. Gives Tilde another chance at life though, and Tilde. Oh, he decides to chase. That was brave of him. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's what he has to do. like. Honestly, that's what he has to do, and I feel like that's where uh, Tilde gets a lot of this, his success, uh, especially against Rob. You kind of need to chase him a little bit. You need to chase him. You need to make him uncomfortable. You need to make him think. You need to make him think that he needs to land with a button. And just like we saw before, and he went. He went for that. You know, he went for that earlier, and I was just like, yeah, he, that's funny. But what he's doing is he's side being and he's holding down, so he goes through the whole the whole um, the whole move, and then he's uh, getting the ledge at the end of it, and that's like pre it's pretty smart stuff. Yeah. Fantastic DI on top of that, still living at 159 even after getting hit by a Rob up there, but run, dread, dread it, run from it. You cannot escape, Rob down air. <laughs> yeah, that move oh, is okay. Creative ways to get back to and the game. And that forward tilt, that forward tilt phantom. Oh no. I love the pullback. The pullback to get the phantasm. He didn't get anything off of it, but it's little stuff to to put in the back of your mind. Zamba has been shield grabbing, and this should be a really good punish. Up tilt's a pretty solid way to start, but good way to mix up DI from Zamba going left and then right. Uh, forcing the awkward, the wrong hitbox of up air to get from Tilde. Sort of giving him another 20% to work with. Yeah, and, yeah, and once again, and, he, and just the conditioning, right? It's just Tilde, Tilde running forward, right, baiting Zamba to roll in and catching up the down air into the back air, and I'm um, not taking it, but uh, Tilde still chasing Zamba, has him on the, against the ropes right now. Yeah, he's got to be running out of fuel soon. Yeah, look at, him, look at the spine on his body, starting to fill up now. He's... He's fine now, but he was in a yeah. bad spot before, yet Arm Rotor catches the roll in, and that's all she wrote. Yeah. That was a roller coaster for game one. <laughs> yeah, and second time that Zamba went for that type of punish with the Arm Rotor. Um, first, it was trying to shield poke him, and this time it was just reading a jump from the ledge. And, it, you know, when, Z uh, when Zamba does this, it's almost like pretty low committal, um, where it's he throws it out, and if he misses, he's off stage. And he's robbed, so he's flying all over the place. Or if he yeah. does it, he takes the takes the game. So it's like, yeah, look, pretty low criminal option in that situation. So that's very good situational awareness. Yeah, just instead of trying to undo what he did, and also, wait a minute, forget what, forget the analysis of the previous game. That's Fox. Uh, uh, Tilde yeah. underscore Fox, by the way. Yeah. Um, okay, the Smash Two recoveries worked out for him. Yeah, I mean, Fox is a very good character, but if, if mer uh, memory serves me correctly, I believe he tried Fox against Zamba one time and he kind of got smoked. That was so unfortunate. He shine stalls so he can attempt to punish the arm rotor, but arm rotor lasts too long that the double he couldn't double jump up there and uh, hit Zamba nor, mm -hmm. and nor get back to ledge. Yeah, yeah. So that's a down air into down air into a late hit dash attack, getting the up air afterward, looking for the second up air, and maybe that's what he's looking for, right? There's mm -hmm. a couple of moments where he's getting you know, very uh, sharpening opportunities, very high up there, but he would get nair or his up air wouldn't kill 
Fox up air is going to kill a lot earlier than Falco's. I'm just not sure if you sacrifice everything else that Falco give you, it gives you, that Tilde's Falco gives him for an opportunity at Fox. But might as well try it in game two, yeah. see if it works before going making your final decision in game three. Yeah, because I feel like Fox is definitely a better character than Falco, but I, I feel like when it comes to what Tilde's comfort with, I, I feel like the Falco is definitely the way to go. But, you know, if you want to try it out, you're down 1-0. Loser side of grands, like you know, you need to try something, right? Yeah. So you know, why not? Better place to try it. But um, it just isn't looking too good for him. That back air is very good, but it's just it seems like it's very hard for him to get a foothold in situation, especially against this rub. Yeah. Who knows if uh, maybe small battlefield is attributing to that? Uh, Zombo looks very comfortable being able to weave between these platforms and protect himself from foxes falling there, but. Hey, this is a pretty good string that Tilde has got going for him, but the trade, the trade interrupting his offense just for a brief moment as 85 now. He's only been hit by Gyro, and that has done, taken him from 20 to now 41. It's finding the kill, though, that's going to be the hard part. Oh, and I don't think Zamba realized, like, what what, what he had, but um, Tilde immediately stopped being out of this situation. No way. And, yeah, that's bad DI. Yeah. That's bad DI. Yeah. Um, like, it goes so well at, when the Fox, like, staple is that it's going so well. You're getting a lot of damage. You're getting your hits. Like, oh, you'll land a couple up airs, and it's like, oh, yeah, like, things are starting to get into the groove again, and then you die. It's like, oh, <laughs> it goes so well until it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, and I feel like a lot of... And, and I feel like when you play Fox, especially against... Uh, uh, somebody like Zombo who's very in tune with their character, it's going to be very hard for you, right? Because I, I know Falco is his main character used to play Fox in previous games, uh, a little bit of Fox now. But um, that's definitely not a pick that you can try to bust out against Zombo in a situation where you're trying to, like, you know, to, if you're trying to take a game, whatever. But didn't hurt to try. You know? Yeah, I mean, why not, right? But at the same time, you're almost wishing oh, no you jump. stuck with Falco for a game two because you had... Uh, game one was a last stock situation. You died to arm rotor, but Fox isn't giving you anything that Falco... Your Falco didn't. And how many times... Like, how many stocks has, has he taken with uh, uh, five or six? Yeah. It's been down air. Like, yeah. Oof. Speaking of, here's a couple big down airs from Tilde, but... Oof. Oh, yeah, no jump. No jump. I'm surprised. I'm surprised there's no arm rotor. Yeah, that that was... That was arm rotor o'clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, there was a couple down to it, so yeah, wrong way. It's, it's so hard to... It, it's good on Tilde to respect these buttons, but climb with something, down tilt is coming out, and Falco, Falco doesn't have an, a quick enough button to beat out something like down tilt on the ground. Here comes the up tilt, though. This has to result in a lot of damage, but goes for a jab mix-up, yet still finds okay. another way to confirm, getting a clean 60 and yeah. trying to fight his way back into this game. And that's exactly what Tilde. Tilde needs this right now. He needs a little bit of momentum. Um, would help if he did take the stock first, but right now, this is very good for Tilde. And right now, you could see him walking. He's walking a lot and just waiting for Zombo to land. He did this before in Town and City, too. So this is very good sign for Tilde. Now even actually taking the percent lead. Yeah, I wonder if his if his plan here is, you know, last in game one, he chased vertically a lot, went for a lot of these uh, high sharking up airs. What if instead he just looks for the parry? He plays the simple counterplay. That time his jump out of shield, it looked like he tried to uh, phantasm. Hmm. And uh, that got completely stuffed by down smash and without a gyro, oh, he's dead. And you know, and can we talk, and when you talk about counterplay, it's crazy because he down tilted right now. Usually, you know, as a Rob player, you, when you down tilt, you know that you're in advantage when that happens, right? But instead, what Zamba did was he down tilted and immediately down smashed. When, so that means he knows he was thinking about the options that Tilde was doing out of down tilt, um, you know, block stun, shield stun he was in. And he's just like, all right, I know you're going to try to do this. Stock. And um, wow, that was, that was good. That was good. That was yeah. clean.